Welcome to your tutor online video lessons. My name is Joel. Today's viewer question comes from Joe Lowe in response to my video on finding the lowest common multiple. Joe asks, can you do this for the numbers 12, 18, and 24? Please do this or somebody help me. He has at least uh, 12 E's in his question there. Uh, but hey, Joe Lowe, I would be happy to help. All right, let's go ahead and get a clean sheet of paper and write out these three numbers. I'll write them at the top, 12, 18, and 24. I'm going to leave enough space to do my factor trees. And uh, just a quick reminder that when we do factor trees, we want to leave enough space in between the numbers uh, because they can spread out a little bit. And also there are many different ways to get this final prime factorization using number trees. Just as long as you use um, two numbers that do multiply together to give you the number above it, uh, you'll get the correct answer. All right, 12, I'm going to do 3 times 4 gives us 12. 3 is prime, but 4 is not, so I continue the prime factorization. 2 times 2, and those um, numbers in the leaves are all prime numbers. Uh, a number at the end with no branches coming out um, is called a leaf. All right, for 18, I'll do 3 and 6. And 6 is 2 times 3. And 24. Let's do 2 and 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3. All right, let's do a little line here to separate these factor trees here. Okay, I'm going to rate the prime factorization, and to do so, um, start with the smallest prime number that you see in the tree, which is a 2, and then exponent is the number of times that you see that prime number. There are two twos, so 2 exponent with a 2. I also see a 3 but only once, so I don't write an exponent. Remember, 1 is an invisible exponent. Next, I see 1, 2, I see a 3, and I see that 3 twice. I see 2 is in the factor tree 3 times, and there's also a 3 in the leaf. And that is our prime factorization. And that is the basis for figuring out the lowest common uh, denominator and greatest common factor for numbers above it. Okay, I'm just going to shift up here just a little bit. Okay, even though the question only asked for the lowest common denominator, which is the same thing as lowest common multiple, I'm going to show you um, both LCD and greatest common factor just so you can figure out the difference between the two. Okay, lowest common denominator first because that's what Jolo asked for. We're going to write down all the prime numbers that are um, that we see along with the biggest exponent, and then we're going to evaluate it out. So um, looking at uh, all three of those numbers here, all three of these, for each individual prime number, so there's a 2 and a 3, I'm going to pick that prime number with the biggest exponent. So I see a 2, but that's a squared, a 1, and a 3, so I want to pick that one with the cubed. And let me maybe write the rule for you. Okay. I write every prime number with biggest exponent. So in this case, the biggest exponent for a 2 is 2 cubed. Now there's also a 3 that's in all of them. And excuse me, it's not necessarily in all of them, but if it's there at all, um, we're going to write it down. So just make sure that if there's a um, prime number up here at all, it's going to go down in our lowest common denominator, even if it's only here. Just as a quick example, I'll do this in a different color. If we had a different number and there ended up being a 7 there, the 7 would eventually have to make it down into our lowest common denominator, even though it's only in that first column. Okay? All right, but for our um, example that we had 12, 18, and 24, this is what we did. Okay, so two, I, I, the biggest one I see for the two uh, is the cubed. The biggest one I see for the three um, is the three squared. And if we had any others there, they would have to go down as well. Okay. Um, 
2 cubed is 8, 3 squared is 9, 8 times 9 is 72. So the lowest common denominator uh, is 72, which is the same thing as lowest common multiple. And lowest common denominator is useful for um, when you have to add or subtract fractions is the uh, biggest time you'll use that. All right, now let me make sure that you understand greatest common factor because it's a very similar uh, process um, and a different use. For greatest common uh, factor, we write down only a prime if it is in every factor tree. Okay, so the way that works out is we only write it down, um, we, we write down a prime number only if it's in every column, and then we only write down the smallest exponent. Okay, so let's look back up just uh, briefly. Um, there is a 2 in every single column, and the smallest exponent is that, uh, that one, just the 1. So go ahead and write down a 2, because there is a 2 in every single column. Uh, and there is a 3 in every single column, and we have a 3 with um, no exponent, which is a 1. So that can be in our greatest common factor. And we'll go ahead and multiply it out. It gives us 6. Okay. And of course, greatest common factor is extremely useful for um, simplifying fractions and also for factoring. Um, so if you had um, 12, 18, and 24, um, say, in a extended expression, you could factor out a 6. Um, so it's helpful for that. Okay. Um, thanks for joining me for this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. You can help me help you by leaving comments and asking questions just like Joe Lowe did, and that's why we have this additional example for um, lowest common multiple, which I know can be a um, confusing topic at the beginning. You can email me, joel at youtubeonline.com, or go over um, I have a Facebook page, I have Google+, Plus. I have Twitter. Um, I'm not super active on any of those, um, but you can connect that way as well. If these videos are helpful for you, please share them with your classmates, and I'll see you next time. Happy studying.